yeah, it's just a long load for no apparent reason. It might have been for whatever reason the uh, the control banding was happening for, so I'm not going to freak out about it. Although that said, due to the awkward way that I have my split set up now, um, I just lost three and a half minutes. <laughs> it looks really bad, I'm not going to lie. And admittedly, I did definitely lose some time overall there, simply because of, what's it called? Just, like, that was not my best floor to Oro. Mostly due to um, probably an extra 25 to, four, uh, more like 45 seconds taken on uh, Trail of the General, and maybe an extra uh, like 30 seconds taken on the Borrow mission. But still, I didn't lose three and a half minutes in that section. Looks like the boss's house. Let's go check it out. Down, you're giving yourself away. And my controls are still acting a little bit gluey, but nothing terrible or unplayable. So I'm gonna. So by the fact that I got through floor, which is like my trouble province, I'm just gonna continue with this run. And also, I'm expecting to make up a very large amount of time in Libertad, because my best Libertad is pretty bad, honestly. Can open a cold one? No, that's from a different, well, an old bottle. Ah. Was moving something around on my desk and up hit the bottle cap from it. Some kind of school. That's the chemical institute. Via B Although gas. that sounds like a good idea, honestly. Let's see, what's the next interrogation? Let's see if we can find the boss in there. Oh, Lieutenant here. Duh. I'll have time to spot it. I'll probably have time to run to the fridge. Let's grab him and make him talk. Don't hurt me! Oh God! Don't kill me! Please don't kill me! I don't know anything. I swear, I'm just an assistant. An assistant to who? Marcus Jensen. He, he's the boss, you know. Oh God, that's bad. Where can I find him? He's no! 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 Please don't! Get on the phone. Arrange a meeting with him at the market. Holt, Tell defend me. Then you Save me, Holt. That depends on how convincing you are. Hey, it's me. Look, there's something I need to show you. I can't tell you on the phone. Yes, it's important. Okay. He told me to meet him at the witch's market. In case you feel the need to call him back. Boom. Bowman, this is Nomad. The cartel patron in Libertad is a U.S. national named Marcus Jensen. Got it. Let me run the name and I'll see what comes up. Better make it quick. We're going after him now. Please don't get knocked out here. Oh god, I let's give him a second to go over there. Okay. Sounds like everyone needed to worry about no, it. Matt, I just uploaded a video for you. Ooh, rather be safe than sorry, this is a pretty decent Libertad. Who the hell is still shooting at me? Yeah. We've ID'd the Buchon as an American national named Marcus Jensen. He's heading to a meeting at the. Found us a Sicario leader. Let's fuck with a sense of well being, using the spreads of fear.
Okay, that was interesting. What happened? Uh, Amaru's door kind of just opened on its own. I, I literally think one of the bullets from Santa Blanca opened it for me. No! no. Jensen's running! Fuck! That's not good. Whatever it is, it ain't good. Trust me. Shit, Jensen's getting away. Oh well. He didn't he didn't make it that far. And it, and it was pre interrogation as well, so it isn't the end of the world. Got no right. I'm an American citizen. Stay where you are and put your hands on your head. Don't make me tell you again. Yeah? Or what? I'm opening fire on these shitheads. Get your goddamn hands off me! And I'll put a bullet both your legs. You read me? Now shut up and move. Hey, keep your guns down. These people I am definitely tired. <laughs> I get you. I uh, I nearly just flew, well, descended diagonally into a rock face. Oh God, yeah, you're tired, man. That said, Jensen is in the copter, so I should be on pace for a somewhat clean Jensen. Nice. Tango down. Good job recovering there. Yep, and as long as I, my helicopter doesn't get shot out of the sky, which is a very real possibility considering it's beeping at me and smoking black, uh... <laughs> yeah, I think I'm on pace to cut out maybe about 45 seconds off uh, you can't just out of my time. For going to a fucking market. Cool, that's you awesome. All about you and the cartel. What I don't get is this. You're a scientist, right? So what the hell were you doing at a place like the witch market? Processing cocaine isn't just about solvents and reagents. Not the way I do it at least. Actually, no, maybe more like 40 seconds. And extract. And 38 second time gain. Right, Section of a, of a, of a t full, full run to uh, IRs is quite fair. Yeah. So let's see. La Plaga's getting ready to flee the country with his big brother. We can't let that happen. Take out La Plaga before he gets away. Actually, wait. Hey is man, this the quickest way to do that? No, it jumps, isn't. Right. That is. Right. I think I'm also going to save time on La Plaga as well. Just due to the fact that I can teleport to the really, really northernmost... Uh, Florida Oro spot, which puts me like maybe pull, like a kilometer away from La Plaga. I asked Pacatari to send us a vehicle. There are a lot of lights and switches up here. Yeah. I'm good. Crank it. Yeah, well, Pog is like 1.2 kilometers away, so that's great. Actually, wait. Come to think of it, I already had world record Wapaga. So theoretically, if this Wapaga is quicker, so then I then then this and this run fails out. This could also go on IRs. What just happened? The Pakatari convoy call just immediately skips. Oh, I had that happen to me. Oh, now's not a good time. Fuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's annoying. I just got knocked out in in Wapaga's basement. Ooh. Be the only reason being is because I accidentally clicked on live splits. Ooh. That even with that, I'm still set to gain time. I mean, like, well, cut time. Tango's inside the hacienda. I asked the rebels to check it out. The I'll pilot. Hmm. 
at this point, I don't think this run is going to be on the leaderboards anywhere. I'm not. I'm probably not going to submit this run. So that means that I w do feel like I can, in good conscience, submit IL runs for um both. Um, La Plaga and um Libertad. No matter. What have you got on San Mateo? San Mateo. Over the past few years, a lot of people have been disappearing from that province. Politicians, rebel sympathizers. Anyone who's making life hard for the cartel. Anybody who ain't the cartel, period. We're talking hundreds of individuals, gone without a trace. Santa Blanca is definitely behind the disappearances, but no bodies have ever been found. Find out what happened to these people. Their families need a place to start looking. Then make sure this shit stops happening. Understood. Alright, Rosario time. And coming up on Rosario. Oh Cut shit, I missed the mortar. Not sure if Santa Blanca keeps records, but if they do, could be safe. Okay, there's a mortar. Okay. That's gotta be the warden's office. If there are any prisoner records, they'll be in there. We need to get inside and see what we can find. We got a PC over here. If there's a record of the prison's inmates, it's here. No time to be choosy. We'll download every document. Download started. Stay alert, people. Download complete. It's extra. No. <laughs> Dylan, get the data to bone. I, I'm already. There's something here. I'm in freaking San Mateo, and I've already done Waplaga, and it's just now giving me the sink shot. Uh. I'm on. We got a sniper. Get down. Chopper, hit the dirt. That. That's just hilarious. That said, that was a very clean. Um. Rosario, so that probably saved me some time over my prior um, San Mateo splits, because if, if I'm right, my old San Mateo splits were pretty jank. Cartel's keeping high-value rebels prisoner. Some of these people, they could tell us something about the disappearances. Chances are, with this size operation, the jail cells unlock automatically when the power goes out. So we take out the jetty. We gotta find it first. Come on. Hey, I need your help with something. We've been trying to figure out what happens to the people who disappear in San Mateo. What happens to them is some sort of stew maker. But what does he do with the bodies? <laughs> <Where are they? laughs> oh, I'm at La Carsa de Pueblo, and the. Uh, the AI guy who's talking wow. to me is like 20 Plastic feet to, to my right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good job. Okay, maybe that's a little bit exaggerative. 20 feet is a lot, but like, definitely is 10 feet. Okay. And that was a good Carcel de Pueblo. Five seconds here is my guess. Let's see how the load treats me. Mm. Mm. Where are you at? Where are you at in your run? Just got away. Oh, nice. Uh, and you do ver via Verde early, so you uh, head or head or behind old splits. Well, the 207 splits. Uh, I am 27 seconds ahead. Nice. And damn it, I got house intel. Yeah, house intel sucks. Well, at least you can at least you can get out of the house quicker than you can get in. Just just jump off the balcony. She's caused enough trouble that the cartel's gonna make her disappear next. Got her twenty. Let's get to her before the Sicarios do. Actually, let's get rid of that mortar first. That didn't hit the mortar. That did. Okay. Now, here comes the second most infuriating um, AI in this game. 
you the journalist? Um, the Vera, uh, the Lupe Vera AI, and Lupe Vera was kind to me. Any info you got on the people who are disappearing? There is a rebel safe house near here. Everything I have on Los Desaparecidos is there. Then let's go get it. The hideout is just ahead. Good. Show us that intel on the people disappearing in San Mateo. We need to put a stop to it. No, Nomad does not like kids. <laughs> Wait, okay, without context, what the hell? <laughs> he does not want to see the pictures of Gustavo and Felipe. Oh, no, um, mis chiquitos, Gustavo and Felipe. Oh, shut the fuck up, just give me the intel. <laughs> exactly. What about my story? There are dozens of families. Screw your story, Lipe. You're a pain in the ass. Goodbye. If you get answers, you'll be the one to spread the word. Adios. And gracias. I'm going to wait here for Bacatari. You should find that truck. Nomad, I've gone through those files you snagged in Rosario. There's nothing on the missing people in there. Is there anything on El Pozolero? We've got a description of the truck that makes his regular deliveries, but nothing on the truck's route or its schedule. It's like this truck just roams the countryside, and anybody put in the back just vanishes. Well, it isn't supernatural. Here, the Rosario's files have info on the truck's route. I'm sending it to you now. Get your mitts on the driver and make him tell you his final destination. That's where all the remains will be. Got it. And... Eyes on the truck. We need this fucker alive. He's already got a boat back. And... Well, that Stop. was messy as shit. Let's see who this guy is. <laughs> Bro, that was messy as shit. I'm alarmed, I'm alarmed! You El Pozolero. For serious? Fuck, <laughs> fuck no, I'm not that Diablo. I just drive the truck way. Not a mass. Tell me his name and where to find him. His name's Raul something. Raul Morillo. You sure you won't... Motherfucker, tell me where El Pozolero is. I ran out of patience two days ago. Okay. I'll tell you where he is. This is this is looking like it's going to be a pretty decent um San Mateo. Nice. Oh, that said, there is one pe there is one little bit of risk to this. My helicopter is quite damaged, so I'm going to need to evade the shots of that helicopter that chases you after you take Raul. Right. But uh, El fuck, I can't Spanish. El Pozolero. Just make sure he's alive. Otherwise, we'll never get confirmation on these. Got a file transfer from Bowman. Like she was that said, I am on set for PB um, El Pozolero, so if I could get another no thing to add to the IR, that'd be great. Kind of like a little nervous. Bowman said there are a lot of variables in play. There aren't a lot of variables. We just don't know what they are, so we're taking everything into account. We need a covert way in. I want to see El Pozolero before he sees us. Coming up on the cartel base now. I already see El Pozolero. Oh shit, I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm not even suspected. So wait, legitimately, I may not... Wow. That's actually great. I think what's happening is, um... That... Because... It's nighttime... None yeah, of... Ton. Yeah, it helps a ton. Not necessarily because actually no, it's no, it's dinner time, not night time. Sorry. So everyone's at dinner right now in the mess hall. So no, so I am legitimately just getting out of here and going. So yeah, this is going to be a PB um, San Mateo. Congratulations. Let's see, let's see how much I save. Wait, I might be able. To, I might be able to save a whole minute. I should probably have me also. You're fair. No, I'm not gonna say a minute, maybe probably more like 55 seconds. I'm not overly afraid of the dark, but the people Nah, more like 50. And time. I can handle stupid and I can handle grim, but I sure don't like seeing them in one package. He's not exactly stupid, he's emotionally underdeveloped. He didn't learn the proper way to react to the dead. Like his brain broke? 
He's disassociating. Exactly. I, for one, am not going to let my kids burn ants anymore. Nomad. Things are moving fast on Santa Blanca's side of the board. El Muro and El Sueño are at war. Let's go Sueño to El Muro to kill his own brother. After that, Muro paid Unidad to hit Sueño. Because that didn't go so well. Not so much. So now we let these assholes wipe each other out? <gasps> I wish. Unfortunately, Muro is one of our only shops at Sueño. They've been best friends since childhood. We need to know everything he knows. You got it. So we grab El Muro before Unidad slips him out of Bolivia. Dive wait for El Muro. That may not have been the best idea. Okay, good. I dodged that missile though, so I'm not, I don't really care. Shit, 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 shit. That missile missed. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, what's Small arms fire. El Muro's Unidad buddies are trading shots with Santa Blanca. Alright, we go in and we find El Muro. That chopper's chock full of supplies the rebels could use. El Muro's on the move. Let's get the motherfucker. We need him alive. I say again, we need that HVT alive. Nice! That's a good that's good timing for grabbing El Muro. Bowman, this is Nomad. What have you got on Media Luna? Media Luna? Did you say Jesus? That's kinda sad. He's assisting Santa Blanca with security, especially against the rebels. We have to break up this little romance between any- If you Gringos were smart, you stop right here. Put a bullet in my brain and go about your fucking business. Okay, we are 35 minutes in the run and we finally have a grenade launcher. Every day we need a genuine Billy badass. <laughs> You, I mean, I don't need mine in in the uh, route that I'm taking for a while. Same. This is just the soonest I can get it. So. Wait, it took you 35 minutes to get here? So weird. Yep. Meanwhile, like in the uh, OG um, run, you could get one within like 20 minutes if you did it, if you got lucky. I think I mean, I'm thinking I have a PBL Muro as well. Yeah, I'm gonna have a PBL Muro. Sweet. Congratulations. What'd you get? Um, I'm not done with it yet, but I'm probably gonna cut off like 10 seconds. Actually, probably more like eight. I always guess I'm gonna cut off more time than I do, and I always guess I'm gonna lose more time than I do. We'll look into that. Okay. It. Technically was a BB, but I mean, I cut off two seconds. <laughs>